Okay, now we are in the garage that uh, Ben built for his cars. And as you see, there's a lot of cars here. And the first one we're going to start off with is? Uh, Ford GT. And it's black. <laughs> it is black. Now, what color do you like the best on, on cars? Um, it, it depends on the car. I think that this particular car, uh, the Ford GT, is absolutely stunning in solid black, no stripe. Yes, exactly. Some people like the stripes. Some people like the stripes, and uh, as you can see, there are other Ford GTs in here. I think that on the uh, darker colors, I, I do like the stripes, and obviously on the Heritage, which we'll, we'll see in a second, uh, it has a different type of stripe in it, but this car just looks so sinister and so clean in, in solid black. Oh, it, it's, uh, it's mean looking. Let's put it that way. It's very mean looking. And what kind of horsepower is it running? Uh, this is an 800 horse at the wheel. This one has a uh, four liter whipple on it, um, exhaust, um, the, obviously dyno tuned and things like that. And so it's, it's, but it's very streetable. And I, I mean, a lot of people think 800 horsepower is a lot, but in the Ford GT forum, this is a very mildly built car. Oh, exactly. Now, what a lot of people don't know about a whipple, a whipple is a, uh, the name, brand name of a supercharger. You take off, the normal one that comes on there, take that off, put a whipple on there, and you get more horsepower. Is that right? That's right. So um, they're based, the, the ways to make horsepower is to either increase the amount of airflow or increase the fuel or both, and that's, and that's the most effective way to do it. So with a whipple, you can put more volumes of air into the motor, and um, the stock fuel system is, is more than capable of handling that. Oh, yeah. Now, Rod, Rod, Rob, take a look at the back wheels back there. Now, those are some big wheels for this Ford GT. What size wheels are these? Uh, these are 22 by 14s uh, and, and there's uh, some people that don't like them at all. I just particularly like them and you know when modifying cars to your personal taste that's what it is. It's it's what you like not what everybody else is going to necessarily like. So uh, I think it looks a little bit cartoonish but that's that's it's the whole car is a little bit absurd and the wheels match it. <laughs> they do. It's, it's still mean. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, I see you got a little carbon fiber here. Correct. Right there, a little carbon fiber right here. And it's like, uh, they just, uh, different, I noticed different cars have carbon fiber here and there. It's like, why, it's like, why are they just kind of a mismatch? It's like, in, in this particular case, these, these carbon fiber parts were made by Kip Ewing. They are not original Ford equipment. The original Ford equipment had fiberglass on these. Um, but as you can see on the side vents and then also the, the, rear, the rear window surround uh, is carbon fiber. Um, the inside of this car, too, if you'll allow me to see, has uh, lots of carbon fiber in it. There's carbon fiber on the, on the door trim and the whole center console and, and things like that. But it, it's strictly for aesthetics. It's for cosmetics. I mean, if, if it add, if it drops a, a pound of weight on the entire car, it, it, I'd be surprised if it does. It's just, I just like the way carbon fiber looks. <laughs> it does look great. Now, I see you got a lot of holes in the seat. Those are actually um, factory, and the reason why they have those, I was going to say I can take, this, take those papers out of there. Had the air, we had to have the airbags replaced in it recently. Uh, Ford recalled as a, with Takata as uh, everyone else has. They've had to replace the airbags in it. But, um, so those holes in the seat, the most common question people will ask me, are they speakers? Obviously, they're not. Um, they're actually for ventilation. Um, they are homage back to the 60s when the original GT40 did not have uh, much ventilation system to it and a solid leather seat uh, certainly generated a lot of heat and so what they did they had these holes perforated in the seats like that so that it helped with ventilation. 